something I did notice. The spark plug coming out of cylinder two was a little darker than usual. So I'm gonna keep that in mind as we go through and tear apart more of the motor. We are waiting to do a leak down test on all the cylinders just to make sure we don't need to replace the piston rings because I don't wanna refresh everything and then have those go bad. Meanwhile, I did not forget. All right, so right now we're gonna focus on the alternator bracket and we're gonna loosen the tensioner. So now this is actually loose enough for us to pull it off, but because of the way they designed the motor, we actually have to loosen the uh, bracket for the power steering pump. And once that's loose and we can get this belt off, this one will come off with it too. Okay. Put a couple more taps. All right, that's just enough. There we go. All right, so these are both off. We're gonna put these to the side. We should be able to pull this all the way out now. Okay. All right, so you guys can already see the condition. Not really good at all. So I'm just gonna finish this up, get the actual head off. We can actually see the internals of the engine. The head is off and it's finally time for the main part of this video. What do the internals look like? A little bit new to engine, so I'm not too sure exactly what that is. Um, that's probably causing uh, the actual fuel and everything to burn weirdly. So yeah, we're gonna take pictures of these, talk to a couple of people I know, um, get some opinions. If you guys know anything about why this happens, let me know in the comments because that would really help a ton. Uh, the plans that I'm thinking of for the head, I am going to have to get the tools so I can take out the uh, retaining springs and everything like that. Basically empty out the entire head and get it sent off so we can get a uh, clean hot tanked and maybe a resurface um, before I go. The next video, I think we're going to be touching some actual chassis stuff like the wiring or something like that. But something chassis while the head's getting hot tanked and everything. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this build. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace out.